Greetings, salutations, respect and love. I am Scott from the Fire Note. Today in the Prague Corner, we are going to be taking a look at a brand new album from Rosalie Cunningham. A lot of you probably don't know who she is, but I'm telling you, you need to know who she is. This lady came up from a band called uh, Ipso Facto, which uh, was kind of an all-girl goth band. Uh, they were able to tour with Magazine back in the day, which is kind of cool because Magazine's awesome. Uh, after that, she formed a band called Person, which is where I first uh, encountered her greatness in 2013. Person released uh, a absolutely incredible album called The Circle in the Blue Door. It was probably my favorite album of 2013. Followed that up uh, in 2016 with the Desire's Magic Theater. And then Person broke up. And now we're on solo album number two. She put out her uh, self-titled debut uh, in 2019. And now we've got the brand new album, Two Piece Puzzle from the great Rosalie Cunningham. What is she all about? Well, obviously... She's a female singer, uh, which is really refreshing in prog circles because we just don't have enough of them. Uh, she sings a little like Grace Slick, uh, maybe a little like Annie Lennox, but you know who she really sounds like? She sounds like Jenny Hall of uh, Babe Ruth, if you remember those guys from the 70s. But she's got a real psychedelic kind of feel. Uh, her music transports you straight back to 1970 when there were no barriers between hard rock, psychedelic rock, and progressive rock. It was all being thrown together uh, in one big stew, and uh, this album takes you on a really cool journey. Let's take a look at it uh, a little bit here. It starts out with a title track, kind of, sort of, and that is called uh, Start With The Corners, which is what you do when you're... Uh, Doing a jigsaw puzzle, right? It's an instrumental. It gets the album started off in a really cool way. And then it moves on to a two-part sea shanty. The first one's called Donovan Ellington. Uh, and then there's a part two, Donnie part two, which is about a, a guy wanting to sail to America in a boat. He's leaving his wife and kids behind. So it's kind of got that sea shanty feel. There's a guest violin player on this song, on both songs, actually. Um... The instrumentation on this is all Rosalie Cunningham, uh, with the exception of Antoine uh, Pian is the uh, drummer. Uh, and then there's a guest singer on a song later on. Uh, but Rosalie does a lot of the heavy lifting on this album, and she's just very, very talented. Next up is a short little uh, track, 30 Seconds Doesn't Amount to Much, but Duet is where the album starts really getting interesting. There's a guest singer on here, so we're actually hearing a male voice in a person slash Rosalie Cunningham album. I appreciate that. His name's Roscoe uh, Levy. I think he's from a band called Walrus, and Duet is just a great song. Uh, really enjoy it. It's about show business, which is something that uh, she likes to sing a lot about. Um, next up is kind of an Indian, uh, Beatles Raga kind of thing. It's called, uh, Tristatia Amnesia. I have no idea what that meant. I had to Google it. Uh, <laughs> it's a really cool song with a lot of cool changes going on. The song goes through this Indian feel and then it, you think it's done and then it comes back up. There's a lot of different parts. It's really cool. Great song. Next up is Scared of the Dark. This takes you back to like Bowie, Mott the Hoople, kind of the glam rock era. Um, great song. God is a Verb is a short little uh, acoustic interlude. Uh, interesting lyrics, I guess. I don't really understand what she's trying to say there. Uh, and then we get Suck, Push, Bang, Blow, which is a real highlight of the album. It's a lot of fun, a lot of different parts going on, a lot of different sections. Uh, the album proper ends with the liner notes. There's two bonus tracks on the CD, but the LP ends with uh, that song. It's talking about how we should credit uh, cigarettes and champagne and cocaine and the liner notes for what they're doing. It's, it's, it's a fun little song again. 
Rosalie likes to talk about the business a lot, so that's a fun little track. The bonus tracks, though, oh, I got the vinyl on order, and I am really, really disappointed that these last two songs are not on the vinyl. Uh, number 149 is kind of a throwback song with your circus organ going on uh, and a real bouncy melody. It's I, I think it's about a children's story that she was told and to her when she was young and it gave her nightmares. I don't know. The last song is called The Fossil Song and it's the best song on here. It's absolutely amazing how she's talking about scar tissue on her heart, fossilizing it and comparing that to the fossils of dead animals and botanicals and dead birds. It's just really great. Uh, there's a weird little guitar solo that you know, I just don't even know how she thinks of this stuff. She's just amazing. I almost saw Rosalie Cunningham uh, back in 2018, I think. Uh, person was opening for Ghost. And then I was going to go. I was all set to go. I read an article, uh, an interview with Rosalie. And she's talking about how disappointed she is that the only people that come to her shows are middle-aged white guys. So guess what, Rosalie? This middle-aged white guy did you a favor and stayed away from your show. I was salty about it for a long time. I guess I'm over it now. When you're recording music this good, I guess I got to put my little personal gripes aside and uh, just go with the flow and enjoy. I really, really enjoy her music. This is a really good album. Uh, Prague Archives actually has it as the number one album of 2022 so far. That will obviously change as the year goes on. But right now it's sitting at number one. So I wanted to do a quick review. I really like it. But how much? Hmm, what's that score going to be? I'm going to give this bad boy four stars. Um, it's really, really good. I don't think it's the best album of 2022, but it's dynamite. If you're looking for a retro kind of sound that takes you back in time to a, to a different era um, without ever trying to be cool or hip or modern or contemporary, she does what she does. She does it extremely well. You know, her contemporaries might be Coven or... Black Widow or Blood Ceremony. I don't think she has any peers. Rosalie Cunningham is a singularity. She's in her own genre all by herself. I really enjoy her music. Uh, you know, I just hope she gets over the fact that old white guys like me like her music. Sorry, we do. <laughs> At least you have some fans. <laughs> Come on, girl. Anyway, I am Scott from the Prague Corner. And I will see you guys on the hippity hoppity flippity floppity. I promised I'd never say that again, but I did. I'll see y'all later.